here we go for the second round of three minutes of five, three rounds, sorry, of five minutes. We've already seen five minutes already. Into round two, here we go. Going for the takedown, he manages it this time. The referee repositioning them back in the centre of the ring. Time back on and off they go. So Patrick this time inside the guard. Cost it in on his back. Past the guard, they've gone to the side control. The mount. Intricate movements here from both fighters. Trying to find position. Once again, Patrick on top. Got a skin there coming off just below the knee, obviously from probably from the uh, skirmish on the floor. It's going to hurt in the morning, as they say. You won't be feeling that right now with the adrenaline flowing. Manages just to turn over, but if he takes his back again, he's put himself into a bad position. Good position here over Costadin. Again, Patrick here is doing really well. Managing to get on top again. This is where he managed to turn the fight around because what it looked at the start of this fight looked like it was going to end very quickly but it's managed to reverse and things the tide has turned both fighters again tangled and embroiled in this MMA style of fighting it's wrestling on the floor jiu-jitsu judo the three basic combat sports off the floor and upstairs when they stand up, main thing being Muay Thai, Thai boxing, kickboxing, boxing, Taekwondo. Muay Thai seems to have taken over really on the stand-up side of, of mixed martial arts. When they stood up, but on the floor, like I said, I did mention those three major disciplines, wrestling. And the different styles of wrestling, obviously, Action. I'm just putting it under the umbrella. And then you've got Jiu-Jitsu, again, different forms of Jiu-Jitsu. You've got Brazilian, you've got the Japanese, you've got many of the forms. And obviously, Judo, everybody knows. Well, nice little slip out there. Managing to do, pass the guard. And he's offering to get up. Ooh, big right hand. Big trade-off here. Oh, fighters taking some heavy-duty shots there. Knees and punches. Referee repositions them. So back on, time back on, here we go. So 40 seconds. Oh, 
second round. It's missing with those punches. Half in the garden, half on the side. So the 10 second hammer goes down. Both fighters trying to finish strong at the end of this round, trying to impress the judges. And then they go back to the corners. So Kostadin, in here from Bulgaria. The big gash under his knee, which I think from the canvas, marking on his eye as well. Taking something see there from some of the ground and pound that he took. There from Patrick. Ooh, took a big right there. Shows he's got two big rights, three big rights. Both fighters there having a real whack off. Shows what a good chin he's got. Okay, here we go, third round. What, will we see any different in this round than we did in the last? It has gone a little backwards and forwards, let's say, and it will make it interesting for the judges. As with the previous fight, I got it wrong. I thought the, uh, the Greek fighter got it over the Macedonian, even though I thought it was very, very close. It could have been a draw, to be, if, to be fair. But anyway, it's not about that, it's about these two. Ten minutes of fight action has gone. Five remaining. Got him, his head there, nice and trapped in a guillotine. Also got the legs locked in nice there, full guard. Trying to flick himself out of that position. And he's tapped, he's got him. He's got him. Well, there's a surprise. Very surprised there. I want to say surprise. Managed to get the guillotine on and he tapped out. Well, early in that third round. And here we can see it now. Taps out, got him in that guillotine choke. But he did take some punishment to get that win. But he did the win, and that's all that matters. Kostadin Enev. And the official score, he comes out now. Tap out. Guillotine. A disappointed Patrick, who I thought was, and I do feel that he was just He's in a way with the win, you know, with the win. But here we go. The winner by submission, fighting out of the blue corner and representing Bulgaria, Konstantin Final fight stiže u Skopje. Spektakl predvodi bivši UFC of teškaški prvak Rico Rodriguez, dok ćemo u kickbox dijelu gledati ruštenija Grešnika i Mladena Brestovca. Nastupaju i sjajni makeronski borci Sloboran Hermakovski i Ileri Steski. Petak, 13. decembra, Gorana Boris Trajkovski, FFC 10. Ulaznice potražite na Kupi karti za sve.